Hey guys, RTT back here for another video, guys. Today, we're going to be talking about how to get the most out of your brand new Surface Duo 2. Let's go ahead and talk about that. So our first thing we're going to talk about, guys, is actually reading through the Kindle app on the Surface Duo 2. With less bezels and more screen real estate, you actually get a lot better experience with the Duo 2 than you do with the Duo 1 when it comes to actual reading. Now, I'm not saying Duo 1 was any by any stretch of imagination a bad phone to use a Kindle app on. It just gives you a little bit more of that screen real estate with the Duo, Duo 2. Now, with that being said, if you are just picking up the Duo 2, Kindle app is probably the best app to go ahead and pick up because of the fact that with Amazon, you can actually get a free trial and you can actually read a lot of books for absolutely free. So it's actually a really cool thing. And also, of course, it does go ahead and increase your reading a lot when utilizing this phone. The reason why I personally love using this phone when it comes to reading is because of the fact it kind of feels like a real life book instead of like a candy bar cell phone where you kind of feel like you're just reading off a text off a you know kind of like a back of a box you are actually reading with the ability to have both screens looking like an actual book and of course the animations are absolutely gorgeous on the surface Duo 2 when it comes to the kindle app when you turn the page it literally feels like you're actually turning the page of a book rather than just being you know a cell phone that you're reading off of now with that being said though i will say with because of amazon they have different trials and different you know subscriptions you can actually get a lot of books and read a lot of books for very cheap on this device so it's not too too expensive when it comes to actually reading books on this device now again with the battery life based on my experience the battery life has been absolutely amazing when you're just reading off this device especially because it's not really utilizing too much stuff it's not really utilizing the full you know performance of the actual hardware to this device and it's pretty much just a passive way to use this device now when it comes to heating up does the device heat up when you're reading on this device i have not had any issues with that at all and if anything it actually feels perfect when using this device to read the next thing i want to talk about guys is actually going to go ahead and be using this device as a map or gps for your car so recently i did go ahead and show off a actual phone holder for your galaxy z fold 3 your surface Duo one and your surface Duo 2 and in that video i show off how you can go ahead and mount this in your car now with that being said this is why this phone is so amazing Obviously, yes, people love the Teslas and they love that gigantic display in the Tesla. Now, Teslas cost a lot of money, right? So the Surface Duo 2 can be used as a little bit of a nice little addition to having a actual tablet in your car. And the cool thing about this is, of course, with the dual displays, you can have one uh, side be a actual map. Uh, you have GPS and the other screen be your Apple Music or whatever else you want to have on that second screen. So unlike tablets where multitasking, yes, is possible, but it's a little bit more difficult with the Surface Duo 2, you instantly get that multitasking without any hassle at all. And it works so fluently. And for a GPS slash Apple Music, Spotify, whatever you use, it just fluently flows so well in any car. And I will say it has pretty much been my favorite accessory in my car at this moment just because of how amazing it actually does work. So recently we did find out that the Microsoft launcher is no longer in the Play Store because Microsoft is actually uh, using it to update the actual phone. So now it's actually built into any Surface Duo 1 or 2 is that Microsoft launcher. But the launcher I recommend picking up is actually in the Play Store and it's called Launcher 10. Made a video already talking about Launcher 10 and I absolutely adore this launcher. Not only does it give you that old Microsoft Windows tiles type of feel and it kind of brings you back to the Windows OS days when it comes to cell phones. But with that being said, it also goes ahead and gives you complete control of your device. It absolutely is optimized for the Surface Duo 2. Now this is completely customizable, adding different widgets adding different sizes of your actual icons it is such a beautiful design and if you go ahead and add a second third fourth page you can actually endlessly span this out so for example let's say you have a crap ton of applications that you use every single day of your life you can add each single one to your home display and have the ability to just continuously span this more and more and with live tiles being added and being adjusted it makes this so much better 
Now, I think we'd be doing a disservice to not talk about Xbox Game Pass when we are talking about the Surface Duo 2. And the ability to go ahead and actually play Xbox Game Pass, spinning across both displays, or playing in tent mode, laptop mode, whatever mode you would like to, is absolutely an amazing feature of the Surface Duo 2. We kind of made the joke with the Surface Duo 1 that this phone was just an Xbox Game Pass device as the price did go ahead and go down, but with the latest and greatest hardware in the Surface Duo 2, you don't really have to worry about that. But I will say, having the latest and greatest hardware makes gaming on this device all too much better. So not only is the Xbox Game Pass an amazing feature, you can also go ahead and download some games from the Play Store. There are three games optimized for this exact phone, including Asphalt Legend 9, which of course works perfectly fine with this phone. Other phones, other... Other games might have to go ahead and be used in laptop mode or, of course, tablet mode. But you can also go ahead and download some emulators and use this as what many would call the Nintendo DS of phones. Now, there are some little bit of caveats when using this phone to game. It does go ahead and heat up very quickly and battery life will drain very quickly. But that 90 hertz display will go ahead and give you such a beautiful look while you are gaming and keep in mind that the less bezels more screen real estate also goes ahead and helps you out plenty when it comes to gaming on this device so when it comes to cases there's not many on the market at the moment that doesn't mean there won't be very soon so we do know right now that the s pen cover case is coming out in november we also do know that out of box is coming out with their case in november and also some other third party sites are also going ahead and showing off cases in early november at this moment in time, the only case you can pick up for the Surface Duo 2 is going to go ahead and be the Microsoft Bumper case. I did a review of this case already, and to be honest, I'm not sure how I feel about it. It does go ahead and protect your device, but if anything, it's more or less just a fashion statement rather than being an actual protective cover on your device. Also, it is a $40 design, so $40 for a bumper case that you really, at the end of the day, is just going to go ahead and be some you know rubber around your phone with some adhesive i don't know how i feel about it a lot of people have absolutely disliked it talked about the price being way too high and i can agree with them for the most part that the price of this bumper case should really have been either free with the phone or at most 15.99 nothing in the crazy ballpark range of 40 dollars but i do understand that microsoft's trying to go ahead and capitalize off the fact this phone is now out and new so it does kind of make sense in that context with that being said though if you are trying to protect your device this is really the only option at the moment until we see other phone cases come out in november december we're probably going to have to go ahead and actually utilize this exact thing next application i want to talk about guys is actually going to go ahead and be super display now super display is an application we looked at already on the channel and pretty much it is as followed it's a way to turn your surface duo 2 into an external display but not only as is it an actual monitor you can actually also turn it into a touchscreen device which becomes a touchscreen monitor so if we go ahead and drag over any window to the super display you can automatically go ahead and either set it in lock mode zoomed in mode or of course, pens as touchscreen mode. Now with touchscreen mode, you can actually go ahead and control your computer through either, let's say, your Surface Pen or your actual fingers. You can literally start using it like a touchscreen monitor. It's really actually awesome, and I use it all the freaking time because if you set it correctly on your computer when it comes to zoomed in on the phone, it actually makes it so it's a really usable monitor, and I love to use it in Photoshop, especially if I'm drawing, and I don't want to use the mouse and keyboard. I can actually use my Surface Pen, and with, the, of course, the Grill Grass Vicious, uh, Victus on the Surface Duo 2, you get that ability to really go as precise as humanly possible rather than, let's say, the Z Fold 3, where you have a plastic screen where, yes, you can still use the S Pen, but you want to be a little bit more careful with it. With the Vic uh, Victus, you can actually go ahead and go full on details when it comes to your Surface Pen. Next thing I want to talk about, guys, is going to be the final thing for this video. It's actually me utilizing the camera app on the brand new Surface Duo 2. And to be honest, I've said many times, it is hit or miss. Sometimes it will crash on you. But at the end of the day, it's going to go ahead and give you some very beautiful looks and some very beautiful pictures and videos off this device. While, yes, that camera bump is a tad bit excessive, 
it definitely gives you it packs a lot of punch for what it is going to go ahead and give you with being there of course this does improve a lot of the surface 201 which only had one 11 megapixel camera this does have two 12s and a 16 while in the inside having another 12 megapixel camera and i will say utilizing this camera will instantly go ahead and make this phone seem just that tad bit much better because you can get some beautiful shots with this phone so guys if you did enjoy this video make sure you go ahead and hit the like and subscribe down below i'm trying to hit a thousand subscribers before the end of this year and we're about 160 subscribers away from hitting that goal i do appreciate everyone of you guys hitting that subscribe button and i'll see you guys in the next one